Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new here. Back with another Nordschleifer digital versus wheel challenge for you. So we did do a video where we tested the stock 97 BMW M3 E36 versus the stock wheel lifetime, which was 8 minutes 22. So there'll be a link to the video up there, which you can watch hopefully after watch with. And in that video, there was a comment left by one of the community members to ask if I thought the 911 GT2 RS would be able to get round there in the stock time of 7 minutes 18 seconds, which was laid down in real life in 2013. Uh, I got this lap from fastestlaps.com. They cover all sort of lap times um, for all cars and tracks. There's quite a lot on there if you ever fancy having a look. I'll put a link into the description. So... What I thought we'd do is we'd test it, this is the highlights now, and see if we get there. What do you reckon? Can the 911 GT2 RS let me know in the comments? Will it do 7 minutes 18 in Forza World with stock? So it's completely bone stock, I think it was 784. So what we've done is we set up the race in S class, we set all the cars up to be faster than us, they're on level 8 for AI so they don't hold us up. And then I put a 1.5 second delay between each driver and gave us eight minutes of the start time so that gives us 36 seconds plus six seconds to get from here to the start line so if we look at 720 719 718 and we go so we're on the lap now get our first overtake so as you can see the time is ticking away 75 74 so We have got traffic coming up. We're going to push hard. I think it's going to be tight. You just navigate these bends, trying not to hit the curbs, because you're going to upset yourself through them bends, because once you upset one, it mucks the whole line up. So just try and get on this car here, and the inside, get down, oh, watch the car on the left. So we nick a bit of slipstream here, over the jump, a little bit of jump, on the brakes hard, inside, outside, got to use all the road there, but that's the only curb you really want to hit, don't want to hit the others here, because again, once you hit them curbs, see they are just touch it there and it starts to upset the car at these speeds, yeah, it'll just muck your whole line up. So come here, I'm going to try and sneak past, I'm not going to be very forgiving with these computer, only because I've got a mission here, I've got to get around, we're running out of time, six minutes left. Heading down the hill, get a nice bit of speed down here. Then the slipstream, can't wait, let me pass, he wants the left, I go to the right, he wants the right, typical AI driver. So, getting, braking hard. I gave him the ever so slight nudge there and he lost it completely. Crazy, but like I say, we're not holding back. We're going to try and navigate the traffic. But I assure you, no AI was injured during this video. Let's see if we go down the straight. A little dip. I do not know the name of any of the corners on the North Life, I'm afraid. Catching up on two more. Everyone's in the Porsche 911, so I set it up for basically nine, model 911. So the AI could pick whatever it wanted. S class was the limit. And we done it um lowest PR starts last, so that was me. And like I say we've given ourselves seven minutes eighteen to complete a lap in traffic. And a bone stop. 911. We're gonna try our hardest not to slow down for much at all. We're going to the hairpin, track it around and go a bit deep here. Into first just to get the nose in, bait in the second. Watch out for the car on the left here. The good thing about having the AI set on the tough is like say you can slipstream them, you can get a bit of a pull off them. You've just got to mitigate the overtaking. Because they can be a bit weird on the brakes, like he's obviously seen the guy off the track there, broke a little bit more. A tiny little nudge, but nothing too much. There you go, what do you reckon? Four minutes six. Four minutes left. We're gonna make it. It's gonna be tough. Come on guys, pull me up this hill. 
Oh, so down a bit much there they have. We'll take that. Yeah, have some slipstream here. Come on. Stay over there. We'll take that. Nice and smooth through here, do not hit a curb through here. I mean, you can, but if you're going to like, clip one there, if you're generally going to, I prefer to have all two wheels over the other side of the curb on the grass with a bit of extra ride height. I mean, if you're going to use curbs on the Nürburgring or Nordschleife, you should uh, you should be using a bit of extra ride height anyway, just to mitigate the curbs. But I think, so with this, it does come with tunable springs, uh, tunable roll bars, so I have tuned it. I mean, I'll have to share the tune. If you want it, let me know in the comments again. And then um, I'll share the tune. But I'm pretty sure that with all them bits as stock on the car, you know, Porsche themselves would have given the car a good tweak. Maximise it. I mean, they probably would have put better tyres on than the ones I'm on. But we went stock with the tyres given. Which I think were a uh, couple of accelerators. We're in the back sector now, time is bleeding. What do you reckon? Are we gonna get there? Are we gonna get to the finish? So, admittedly, normally I'd be trying probably well, not to get as much tyre scrub. The hand is not too bad on the car, so I'm kind of chucking it about a bit, I'm a bit aware that I've got somewhere to be in around two minutes. <laughs> this is going to be tight. Are we going to make it? Oh, a little bit of negative up there. Keep it back on track. Over the dip, into the brake. So basically, just as you come off the dip, same as the early jump that you get. You want to let it do the jump, let it hit the dip and then brake just as you go into it just to make sure you don't get any real bounce out of that base. Chuck it through here, clip a bit of curb. Didn't want to take too much but I'm going hard at it. One minute twenty. If I do with someone else to slipstream down the straight, but I don't think I'm gonna be afforded that luxury. Into the last carousel. One minute five, coming out of it. A minute left, a minute to win it. How far are we gonna get? How fast can we get out of this Porsche? I say gearbox is stopped, so I wasn't even able to tweak the gear in. In fact, pulls all right, goes well. Come on, come on, 30 seconds, how are we going to make it, come on, full tilt, it's that 199 mile an hour, almost got 200, I should rewind and shoot it again, make sure I get 200, that's close enough, keep a bit of curb, in the barrier a little bit of drift, Three, two, one, zero. Boom. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Take care. See you soon. Their instructor is one of the finest pilots this program has ever produced. His exploits are legendary. What he has to teach you may very well mean the difference between life.